Hi Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your September 1st to the 10th, 2019, that's 2019, reading for you today. Now I ask that you guys give this video a thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe to my channel. This is the way you let YouTube know that you're appreciating the content that I'm putting out. And I like to start each reading with an attitude of gratitude, so I want to thank you so very much. Whether you're new or old to this channel for tuning in and stopping by, it's an absolute pleasure having you here. If you would like to book a private reading with me or donate to my channel, all that information will be in the description box below. It will also have the links to the cards that I use. So let's see now, Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, what September 1st to the 10th, 2019 has in store for you. Virgo, September 1st to the 10th, 2019, Virgo. 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 Show me clearly, 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 show me clearly. Show me clearly, Virgo, Virgo. Ooh, fantastic. That's where the cards fell, so that's where Spirit wants me to stop. At the center of everything, Virgo. Oh, I love it. It's the Ten of Cups. This is happiness. This is joy. This is contentment coming into your life. You're crowned with the King of Swords. This is an air sign energy, a Gemini, a Libra, an Aquarius. It can be somebody who is very important to you in your life. Here, patience with the Seven of Pentacles. The Six of Wands is a sense of celebration as you move forward. The King of Cups. So you are crowned and you are rooted in a King's energy. This means that you will be seen during these 10 days. And it, 10 days. Yes, 10 days. <laughs> there we go. So know that you will be the actor upon the stage. People will be taking note of you during this time. The Hanged Man, you're seeing things differently. You're also feeling caught between two worlds. And then we have the Empress. We have strength and power coming through. Now, this is going to mean that at your heart, you're really going to want to be more behind the scenes. Yeah, definitely more behind the scenes you're going to want to be. You're not going to be able to have that all the time. And that's going to be something that feels uncomfortable for you. Just to let you know, you're going to be dealing with that energy. Oh my gosh, I love it. You have in this line right here, the Empress and the Emperor. Three and then four. Whenever I have the King and Queen of the same suit in the same reading, and I take the Empress and the Emperor to be the King and Queen of the Major Arcana, of course. This is, this is a, a soulmate connection. And I know why I tell you guys that I don't like the word, I don't like the phrase soulmate. I do know what people mean by soulmate. I just do not feel, and it doesn't feel right to me to say that our souls are incomplete. However, it does encapsulate everything that I want to say so very, very easily. So for that, for that sake, I will use the word. But know that I don't believe that your souls are fragmented and I don't believe that, you know, the gods kind of ripped people apart, which is where Plato gets the idea of soulmates from. But I do have here this partnership coming in and it can very well be a romantic partnership. It can be, it can be a friendship. It can be a business partnership. It's going to be different for each and every one of you because this is a general reading and this can already be somebody that you know. But know here that your power is moving you forward to your truth, to your prosperity, and that there is going to be someone that either is in your life already or who you wind up meeting during these 10 days that, that just changes the game for you. They change the game for you and they really help you move forward because when it comes to your prosperity, there's something here that you're not seeing, okay? There's some sort of hiccup that is going in kind of like the scheme of your dream, there's a hiccup in the scheme of your dream, and now you're seeing the way, you're finding, yeah, you're seeing a way of putting it all together and embracing your power. Your fairy guidance, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Virgo, September 1st to the 10th, 2019. Virgo, September 1st to the 10th, 2019. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. This one right here, discovery, and this one right here, choice. So that's beautiful. Discovery. And choices choice you can also be discovering your choice you know your choice to move forward show me clearly show me clearly show me clearly Virgo September 1st ooh fantastic 
Now I've already shuffled and meditated on the cards, so when they fall like this, it's absolutely perfect. So we're taking the front and the back. And we're starting off with transformation. This says, self-transformation is the evolving process of life that brings higher consciousness. You are evolving, okay? And that is part of these 10 days, is your evolution of self. Here, the color that's shining through is yellow. It's healing and cleansing your solar plexus chakra. You might find that you have a very upset stomach or that you're very sensitive to certain foods during these 10 days. Make sure that you're taking care of yourself because as you go through this transformation, you're going to get a bit annoyed at yourself, Virgo, for not being where it is that you want to be, for not moving forward in the way that you want to. So here there's a balance, there's an understanding that you need to know within yourself. Then we have vitality. Vitality is the beaming force that gives energy and vigor to life. There's going to be this vivaciousness to you, there's going to be this energy to you that's really great. And you're going to want to stay in it forever, but again, you're going to have that transformation happening, so you're going to have that push and that pull between two kind of ways of being. One is going to be very, you know, very kind of out there and going and having fun, and the other one is going to be much more quiet, much more introspective. So know here you need that balance of that energy and that vitality. The, the passion is leading you forward, and it's really helping you get to where it is that you want to be. The color that shines through here is red. That's healing and cleansing your root chakra. Then we have discovery. Behold the world with new eyes. You are discovering your truth and you are discovering your beauty. You're looking at things through new eyes and new understandings. Then we have choice. You're in control of the choices set before you. You really are. You're also going to be discovering new choices, new avenues for yourself, Virgo. You might have thought life is going to be one certain way and you see things start to unfold and discover new possibilities and new outcomes for yourself. Know that you have choices before you, even if you don't think that you do. The world is not already, hasn't already kind of laid out everything and you're just going through the motions because that's how some of you feel right now. We have the Ten of Cups and the Five of Cups. So at the heart of this reading is very much emotions here because we have the Cups. Now this is, this is talking about the prosperity coming into your life the joy, the prosperity, the abundance that you want. And when I say prosperity, I'm not talking about financial wealth here. What I'm talking about is love. Because here you have the rainbow coming into your home, which is, for me, a, a sign of if you wanted to, this is a good time to start looking at starting your own business. That's the main goal in the United States. The main goal used to be for people to own their own homes. Now the main goal for people is to own their own businesses. Here, there's a sense of independence leading you forward. As I always say with the Ten of Cups, it makes me think of a Nordic saying, it is better to be king of a cottage than servant in a castle. It is better to be king of your destiny. Even if your destiny not, isn't going to be as grand as, let's say, somebody else's, it doesn't matter. It's your truth. It's not theirs. There's a way that you've been looking at things here with the Five of Cups. You've been looking at the disappointments, the hardships, the pain, the anger, the upset. Turn around. See the beautiful love behind you. That's the Two of Cups behind you, the angels blessing you, the soul moving you forward, the harmony, the healing that is coming. Because here, this can eat up your whole entire 10 days. The Five of Cups can also eat up your whole entire life, focusing on the negative instead of the positive. Change your mind, change your life is what the Five of Cups is saying. And the Ten of Cups is saying, let blessings in. You are coming to a completion of a cycle, a completion of where your heart has wanted to be for so long and that's why choice is so important to you and discovery is so important to you you're going to see new avenues start opening up in the way that you move forward and the blessings that you want within your life and within yourself you're crowned right here with the king of swords and the high priestess the king of swords is moving forward right it's knowing your mind it's knowing what it is that you want for you virgo Knowing your mind and knowing what you desire is absolutely important. You are a person who gives. You are a sign that is astoundingly good at taking care of others. Now it's time to start looking at what you want, the way that you want to move forward. There is a need for freedom with the King of Swords and also the Queen of Swords, setting yourself free. You're crowned here by the Morgan. Now, the Morgan in Welsh mythology, in Celtic mythology, represents the goddess of war. Now, I'm not saying that you have been through that you are going to go through a, a war or any battles like that. What I am saying is that 
this life and this world and the living that you have done has been its own battle. You have been through your own war right here. And you're crowned right now with knowledge and understanding. You're cutting through the doubts and fears and thoughts and memories are right over your shoulder, Hunin and Munin in North mythology. So here you are getting an understanding of the way that you want to move forward, of the way that you are spreading your wings. Do not live in memory. There's going to be a strong urge to want to because you're going to see things start to unravel that might be very overwhelming to you because right now you're seeing the truth of people. You're seeing behind their masks, behind their facade. That's what the High Priestess is saying. So here, knowing your mind is astoundingly important because you might be questioning yourself, be questioning the way that you want to move forward or the decisions that you have been making. Now it's, it's time to realize that you have made the right decisions and you are living in your truth. Though things will not be moving forward the way that you thought they would. You are seeing here with Kerwin, you are seeing that what you want is coming. But again, it will not be in the way that you had anticipated. And that's okay because this is the divine at work right here. So with this combination, and it can very well be also that you're seeing the truth of a air sign energy, a Gemini, a Libra, an Aquarius. And the truth of this person is going to surprise you because I actually see it as something very positive. Seeing the strength within them, seeing the way that things are moving forward, the way that you want your life to move forward. So here with the High Priestess, Again, this is also getting what it is that you want in a way that you hadn't expected. But as you are moving forward and embracing your truth, you're seeing things with more clarity. Do you know that for a lot of you Cancers, this is Cancers, Virgos, there we go. Virgos, this is going to be overwhelming. And this is going to be a sense of, okay, that's why right here, there is a strong Cancer energy right here moving towards this High Priestess. So there is a sense of your emotions playing a real game during these 10 days. Yeah, you're definitely taking this gift that Caridwin is offering, which is this gift of plenty, which is this gift of all the greatest things that life has to offer. It's being held within your hands. But it's also going to be, what do I think here? It is going to be offered to you by a water sign, a Pisces, a Scorpio, a Cancer. That's what I'm feeling here. And it doesn't have to be in a positive way. This can be a person that kind of sets your teeth on edge, Virgo. And now you're looking at, at things differently because somebody has kind of shaken your foundation, foundation. This is also an astoundingly strong person at your root. Now, again, a water sign, a Pisces, a Scorpio, a Cancer, shining through right here. But there's a calming of emotions and a centering of yourself. There's a power force behind this person, behind what it is that you love and where it is that you want to be. You're going to see an energy around you that's about conquering fears, going after what it is that you desire. I see a very strong connection and there's wisdom that comes from here, that comes from the King of Swords to you, but there's a passion and a ferocity that comes from, that comes from a water sign. It can also come from an Aries. Okay, so know that, and I know it sounds funny. It can be a water sign with Aries within their chart or an Aries with water sign within their chart, but this is embracing a power, a truth, and a ferocity of spirit that comes from the heart because when we have water signs, water signs come from the heart. Okay, water signs are about emotion. Fire signs are about passion, and we have an Aries right here who is a very passionate person, a very determined person, somebody who isn't afraid to let their emotions be shown. And so this combination can be a very intense combination. Now, we also have here Bran the Blessed. Bran the Blessed was the man who walked across the sea to save his sister. All right, so this is the King of Wales, and this is a person of justice, power, and truth. I always say that the emperor, no matter in what deck, always makes me think of King Solomon, okay, and David, in the Old Testament. And those are people who were profoundly powerful, profoundly, you know, gifted by the divine, but also profoundly flawed. And that's one of their greatest gifts is their humanity. And what you're doing now and what I'm seeing here is you're embracing your humanity, which is also opening your heart to your power, to the source that is you. And why that is so important is so often we strive for perfection and we do not realize that the beauty within art, the beauty within life, is the moments where things don't go according to plan, but are still absolutely beautiful. There's a depth, there's an understanding to the way that you are moving forward here. And the warning is, 
is not to become too rigid, Virgo. Because if you become too rigid, what's going to happen is there's a warning of being like Nero, who plays his fiddle as Rome burns. That's the negative side of an Aries, okay? Who becomes like Nero. Now you are embracing your truth, okay? Now you are, you're hearing the call of your soul, and you're answering it with a ferocity of spirit that you might find overwhelming. It can't be that you're having a connection with this water sign right here. It can be with an air sign, but I see it more with a water sign. Water sign, air, maybe, maybe an Aries, but not really. Not for all of you. Very few of you it could be an Aries. But we have here, we have the Empress. We have passion, creativity. We have a fertility of self. And I'm not talking about being able to have children, though if some of you are planning to have children, you know, now would be a good time to try. What I am seeing here is a creativity that is going to lead you forward. It's kind of like being like Mother Earth. Now, the story of Rhiannon is not a story of blessings and greatness. The story of Rhiannon is of a fairy queen, a fairy princess who marries a king and whose life seems to be absolutely perfect. She's also the goddess of horses. And then she's cast down. She's accused of murdering her child, eating her child. And she's cast out of the kingdom. She's put in rags in front of, well, she's not cast out of the kingdom. She's cast out of the castle, put in rags in front of the palace gates and made to live there, telling whomever passed by the sins of what she had done, eating her child. Well, that child was stolen by a monster, a monster who stole the best horse in the land. And of course, the goddess of horses would have a child who was the best horse in the land, the best colt in the land. So that thief, that monster, went and stole her baby and then went to the neighboring kingdom. But the king was sitting up for him because he knew that he would be there. He knew that he would come. He came every time this year. And he set up and he wound up beating the monster away with a bow, with a sword, with an axe, whatever it was. I can't remember. And what was left was his colt, like he expected, but also a baby. Now, in some stories, there's an undefined time for a Rhiannon to be cast down. In others, it's seven years. So she lives in rags. Now, the baby grows astoundingly quickly. And as the baby grows, he looks just like the king, Rhiannon's husband. And this neighboring king says, oh my gosh, I know whose father you are. And I know whose mother, whose father you are. I know whose son you are. And he sends the child to his father. And Rhiannon is absolved of her sins. She is placed back on the throne. Now, she didn't have to stay there. She didn't have to learn this, this lesson. She was a goddess. She was a princess in her own right. She did not have to do this. Now, why I'm telling this story and why I'm putting these two together is because Bran the Blessed has a similar tale. Not so heartbreaking, but all Welsh stories are a bit sad. Bran the Blessed was King of, Ire of Wales. His sister, he arranges to marry the King of Ireland, who comes over in his fleets, asks for his sister's hand in marriage because she is, of course, the most beautiful, most virtuous, most wonderful woman in the world. And he says, yes, of course. But then his stepbrother feels disrespected because he wasn't asked. He was out hunting, nobody could find him, so the arrangement was made. Now, his stepbrother, whose name means like jealousy and spite in Welsh or something like that, he gets so mad that he decides to cut off all the lips and ears of all the horses that were gifted to the King of Ireland as a wedding gift. Now, I know that's really super disgusting, but that's what happened. Now, Bran the Blessed sees what happens and tries to make amends. The King of Ireland forgives. He gets an even better gift as a wedding, a wedding arrangement gift, and he gets the cauldron of plenty, which is right here, and Branwen and the King of Ireland are married. Now what happens is Branwen winds up being treated horribly. She sends a bird to her brother and he comes and he rescues her. There's a huge battle that ensues. He is mortally wounded and he tells his men, cut off my head. Why? The head is the seed of the soul right here. You're guarding the seed of your soul. And he has his head placed to the east of Wales. 
Why? Because it is where the sun rises. And before Christianity, Wales was pagan and worshipped the sun. Then when the monks came and they found the story, they transcribed it and they said because he wanted to be facing Jerusalem. Bran did not know that Jerusalem even existed. Here, you have somebody who sacrificed themselves to save another. Here, you have somebody who sacrificed themselves so that their child could come back, so that they could see their child come back for another. It may very well seem that you have sacrificed yourself time and time again, Virgo, for other people's wants, other people's needs, and other people's desires. Why I tell these stories is because, first of all, I love them, and second of all is to tell you that you are going to be placed on the throne again. You are going to be guarding your kingdom forevermore because it is your destiny to live your truth and live your greatness. There is a soulmate connection coming for you, okay, coming into your life. Now, it could be a lover. It could be a friend. It could be somebody who just touches your soul for a moment and then disappears. But I want you to know that this person is going to help lead you forward in greatness, in truth. Be patient because you'll be able to see them when they come. Do not be looking at the negative instead of the positive. This person is going to change the way that you see things. <coughs> Excuse me. It could be a book that you read. It could be somebody that you watch on YouTube or on television. All right? You're going to feel caught between two worlds right now, the world that you're living in and the world that you want to be in. It's changing your point of view and you're seeing things anew. As you see things anew, you move forward in celebration. You start celebrating the moments of what you want, of the places that you want to be, of the successes that you have instead of always looking at the failures. As you do so, you change your mind and you change your life and you move forward in a greatness that wasn't anticipated. You have here a Capricorn energy. Now this is a time frame of December 22nd to January 19th. Aries is a time frame of March 21st to April 19th. Here, you're breaking doubts and fears. You're also letting go of any addictions, habits that have been diminishing your life instead of building it up. You are embracing the horned one, not the devil. The horned one is a connection with the cycle of life, is a connection with the earth, and that is what you're embracing here. The devil is chained to addictions, is chained to the negativity. The devil is a sign of complacency with the demands of society. Now you are answering to the demands of your soul and to nature. As you do so, you're also answering to the demands of your nature to live in kindness, to embrace prosperity, to stop caring so much what everybody else th thinks and, sets yourself, and set yourself free. There's light within the darkness that is shining through, and the angels are fiercely guarding you. All right, Virgo, I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness, and may harmony always be with you. Bye.